What's up, everybody? Gridbot Guru here. I've seen my goal is to help people understand what's going on and to kind of give them a better idea of potential of what they could potentially do. Um, my strategies are my own. You do not have to use them at all. If you choose to use them, choose the, to use them at your own risk. However, what I want to do is I want to show you what I saw this morning. Um, so as I go through, I check my, I got, like I said, I have a whole list up here. Okay, a whole list of, uh, this is my whole list. I was making sure I hit the right list. So I go through here and I will just really quickly, just basically kind of do, I'll start up at the top. Maybe I'll search by volume and then I'll just go and just keep going. And what I do is I look for different things. Okay. And here's one of the things. And I saw this and I said, whoa, okay. So I'm going to put that on auto. I saw today that on the four hour, you have this area right here at the bottom of this box. Okay, what I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna try to get rid of this box. I don't wanna get rid of this purple line yet. And I'll explain to you what I've done with that. So you see this area and it comes back down and then another comes, comes back down and then another and it comes back down. So what you could do, and this is what I have done in the past and it has worked for me, is you come and you kind of find an area so you have support, you have resistance. So I'll put an area right here because you're going to see that this comes down and hits right in this area and then goes back up. You can put another support up here or a resistance up there because it is not going past this. It wicked a little bit and there are different variations on where to actually put your lines. I'm just showing you that this is a way that has worked for me. Um, so I want to, I want you guys to hear that, that it has worked for me. It may not work for everybody, but this has worked for me in the past. So I know that this pair at the moment is not going to go past this area. So 320. 320 is going to be an area that's a good spot that it's not probably going to go past. I also know that unless something crazy happens, it's probably not going to go past this 260. So what I like to do is I end up taking my box and I start at the top of a wick and I go down to the body of wherever. So in this area, oops in this area um, let me do a different one um, so in this area that's the area that i'm looking at because it does look like this is going to be a support and resistance area to me so what i do is i let this come down i come down i come down and when it starts getting in this area i'm like okay Cool. So then I start looking at smaller time frames. Okay. And you're going to see that this area, it's right here. Okay. All right. It's hitting there. It, it, it looks like it's going to bounce. Okay. Let's look at smaller. Let's keep going. Here's the one hour. This is going to be the one hour. Again, you're seeing that it has bounced there. Okay. All right. So then you know, you can, and you can walk this all the way down, everybody. So what I'm seeing here is, again, that same line. And I'm seeing that, okay, it's around here. So then what I do is I decide when I really want to get in and if it is worth my time. So I then will bring in my other indicators. Um, I have a couple I use. Um, let me get that. 
I have a couple I use. This is not one I usually use, but I am, I am kind of playing with it. Um, so I, I do end up using uh, Vu Manchu Cypher. So that's going to be one that I use. You guess where all the ribbons come from. And then I also use a lot. Um, this is Vu Manchu's uh, Cypher B down at the very bottom. There's another one called Cypher B Free. And that's the one that I, I personally like. I know a lot of people use MACD, RSI. However, what I do is I get to a point where, and I'm going to get, I'm going to actually make this one to where, all right. I get to a point where I feel like my indicators are showing uh, a favorable trade. So what I ended up doing was I got in and actually if we were to go all the way down, so say we go all the way down to five minutes, this is what I did. I got in around here. Okay. So with this, you um, also, one of the big things is patience. With grid trading, you very much so need patience. And the reason why is because there is a very good chance that this price is going to go all the way down, all the way down, way down into here. And I just have to know that I've got to be okay with that. Because on the way down, it is going to continue buying and it's going to start selling on the way up. This is going to be a big support and resistance area. This is a, uh, a, not a ceiling, it's a floor. I also have to realize that it may bust through that floor and keep going. I don't feel like that is going to happen because we are in a bull market overall. However, that is a real possibility as well. So what I like to do is I like to get to a spot where there is some support and resistance. And then that is going to be the times whenever I start to try to enter a trade, enter a grid. And what I do is I usually I will use the AI parameters and I will let it run. So you can see like right now, currently I started at 270.33. That is my starting bot price. So currently, I'm negative. Currently, as, as we're talking, I am negative. Um, if I were to uh, pull up my phone right now and look at the app, I would, I would be negative. I am not going to stress about it because anytime you saw it get above this purple line, it's going to be in the positive. So right now, it went to the positive, and then it's going negative again. But again, it is buying and selling, so it's making trades. You just have to make sure that you monitor it every now and then and hopefully that this holds as a floor and then it continues upward, okay? All right, YouTube, hopefully that has helped you. Hopefully you got some education out of it. Hopefully you picked up something, okay? Um, I'm hoping, I, I hope this trade turns out. Again, I'm not telling you to take this trade. I'm giving you an idea of how I end up setting up a trade, okay? All right, if you got anything from this video, if you learned anything, if you picked up a little bit of something, please subscribe, hit that bell so you know when another video is going to be going up. Those of you who are feeling like you have subscribed and you are enjoying the videos, make sure you let me know if there's anything I can change. Make sure you let me know what you do and don't like, that way I can continue making productive videos for you all. All right. Gridbot Guru signing out. Happy trading. Stay green, y'all.